Hello everyone, welcome back. So this is the another most important scenario based Power BI interview question that has been asked by the interviewer of the Wipro during the recruitment process of Power BI developer job role. Okay, and this question has been provided to me by one of my friend who has recently got the job at Wipro as a Power BI developer. Okay, so as you can see here, the question is how to format the negative number in Power BI. Okay. It means the interviewer has given the scenario like this. Suppose we have a negative number and here you can see the number is minus 279.3 double 6. Okay. Now I want to convert this number into this format. It means if the number is in negative form, then first of all, we have to represent this value inside the bracket by keeping the value as the positive. Okay. Then the next requirement is we have to do the round of figure for the value which is present after the decimal. Here you can see after the decimal we are getting the number as 366 and in the value we have shown that as the 0.4 okay then the third requirement is if it's a negative number we have to convert the value as the red color all right and if it is a positive number then we have to represent it with the green color okay so here you can see this particular table contains three column one is fruits name the next is value and this is formatted value okay so if the value of the fruit's name are positive, then we have to convert the color of this particular number to green. And if it is negative, then we have to first of all do the rounding off. Then we have to keep this value inside the bracket and the color of this negative number should be red. All right. So this is the requirement. So how can we do that? Now let's see how we can resolve this. Before that, let me show you in this PBIX file, I have imported one table called as the fruits. And this fruits table contain two columns. One is the fruits name and next is the values. Okay. And this value column contain the data like positive number, negative number and the zero value. All right. Now let's move to the report view. And now here you can see this is a table visual that I have already created. Okay. So to create this table visual, I have dragged the two column that is fruits name and the value column inside this column section. Okay. And then I have created this table visual. Got it now to resolve our problem what we can do we can create another measure on this particular fruits table okay so for that just right click on this particular table then click on new measure okay then rename it as formatted value okay equal to and here we will use another dex functions that is called as the format okay so what does this format dex functions do? It is basically used to convert a value to text in the specified number of this format. Okay. So if you want to give any specific format to this particular value, we will use the format dex function. And this format dex functions take three argument. First is a value, then format, then local name. All right. So in place of the value sections, what we will do, we will pass the another dex functions that is max, max of this value column of this fruits table okay we will pass this particular column inside this max text function okay then close the bracket then give the comma okay so what does this max text functions do it will find out the max value from this particular value column of the fruits table okay and then it will give a format to that particular value of that values column of the fruits table all right then in place of the format, we will pass the value inside this double semi quotation. Okay. And here we will give as heads, has, comma, has, has, has. Okay. Then dot. Then again, we will give the heads. Okay. Then give the semicolon. Okay. Then again, you have to pass another value that is has, has, comma, has, 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 dot, heads. Okay. For this section, you have to keep it inside the bracket. Okay. I will tell you why it is, why we will do this. Okay. Then again, give the semicolon, then again, give the space, and then we will pass another some value like hyphen. Okay. So let me tell you what exactly we are doing over here. Okay. So as you can see here, this is the format text functions that we have used to create that measure, right? So we will pass the format dex functions first and inside this format dex functions, we will use the max dex functions to find out 
द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ द वैल्यू कॉलम ऑफ दिस सीट वन टेबल राइट देन इफ द वैल्यू इज ए पॉजिटिव नंबर देन वी विल गिव ए फॉर्मेट लाइक दिस टू हिम दैट इज हैज हैज कॉमा हैज 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 डॉट हैज राइट सो दिस इज द फॉर्मेट दैट वी वॉन्ट टू गिव टू दिस पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू ओके इफ इट इज ए पॉजिटिव नंबर राइट but if the value is a negative number then we will give this type of format to that particular value okay has has comma has 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 dot has all right then we will keep this negative number inside the bracket correct it means if this particular value is a positive number then we will give a format to that particular value in this particular format that is has has comma has 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 dot has okay and here you can observe that we after the decimal we are giving only one has symbol okay it means we are doing the rounding up on this particular things okay then if this particular number is a negative number then we will keep that value in positive form and we will pass that value inside this parenthesis correct then in the third case if this particular value is not a positive number or not a negative number it means if this particular value is zero then we will pass the value as the this type of alternative result okay then click enter all right and here you can see we have successfully created another new measures that is called as the formatted value all right now just click on this particular table visual all right then drag this formatted value column into this column section and now here you can see we have successfully added this formatted value column into this particular table visual right and you can observe here wherever the value of this particular value column is positive here we are able to see the same value and wherever the value is in negative form we are able to see that particular value with rounding of format and that is in positive form and that is inside this bracket okay here also you can observe this negative value is present inside the bracket value and here also you can see the same thing okay and wherever the value of this particular value column is positive we are able to see the same value with rounding of value correct and if the value is zero then we are able to see the hyphen right and you can observe another thing on this particular column is that here all these values are present on the left hand side but if the num if the value is a number or it's a numeric value then it should always be present on the right hand side here you can see this value column all these values are present on the right hand side but in place of this here all these value are present on the left hand side why it is because we have converted the data type of, of this particular values into the text format okay <clears throat> so to represent this value into the right side what we can do just click on this particular table visual okay then go to this format and then here we have a options called specific column right so just drop click on this drop down then here you have to select this formatted value column okay then here we can do the alignment that is the right hand side and here you can see all this value are now present on the right hand side okay then we want to convert the value into the green for the enter column so for that just click on this text color okay and click on more color then select the green color okay and here click in the outside and now here you can see all this value are present in the right hand side of this particular column and <coughs> all this value are in rounding of format for this particular value column then the next is if the value is in positive form here we are able to see the value in same as it is only with rounding of value format okay but if it is negative we are able to see it inside this bracket okay and if it is zero then we are able to see the hyphen okay then our next requirement is if the value column contain the value as a negative then here we have to change the color of that particular value into the red color right so how can we do that for that again click here then right click on this particular formatted value column this is a formatted value column right so just right click on it then click on conditional formatting then click on font color okay after that you can see a this type of pop up over here okay then in the font style select the rules okay then apply to value only and in place of what field should you based on here in this drop down here we have to select the value column okay because we are changing the color of that formatted value column based on this value column only okay so we have to select the value here 
then here we will select the sum and in place of the rule what we will set if the value is greater than or equal to 0 and in place of here we will select the percentage and here we will select the less than okay it means if the sum of the value column is less than 0 here we will select the number then we will change the color to red color okay then click on ok and here you can see we have successfully changed the color of those negative values into the red color okay and if it is positive we are able to see this value as the green color okay so in this way we can achieve our requirement all right so thanks for watching take care bye bye